So this is the infamous tube that we've heard so much about. What do we know about it so far? We know it came from the uh, Kansas City Masons Lodge. Uh, the, 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 um, the seal on it is loose. Um, our speculation was it never it did not hold any documents, so we didn't uh, we didn't open it. We treated it as an artifact. It's one of three items in here: the, the Missouri Freemason uh, newsletter and a, a Masonic directory from St. Joseph. These were all surprise items in the uh, time capsule. Uh, they they didn't make the official list, but on the <clears throat> excuse me in the newspaper account the. Uh, some uh, Eagle Eye reporter did see somebody did see the Masons slip the, these in. So there there is a record of them going in the time capsule, but they aren't they aren't on any official list of uh, the contents. Um, speculation has been that there was oil in the tube, or there may be a uh, apron in the tube. Uh, it's, it's, it's ha it had to do with the cer with the Masonic ceremony uh, creating the time capsule. Um, so an, an apron, uh, some it's some ceremonial apron of the Masons. Right. If that's what's in there. If that's what's in there. And one of your conservators had told me that she even tried to rotate the tube to see if she could hear anything in there. She couldn't. Either one of those wouldn't make noise right. if it was in there, presumably. But, but, but there's not very much heft to the right. tube either, so our speculation was that it was empty. So uh, is the plan then to leave it shut? We plan to leave it shut, and if the state museum wishes to open it, they can open it. That's up to them. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, was there anything special you had to do with this? handled it with gloves so that we didn't cause any more corrosion or, or anything to the actual item. The papers we actually surface cleaned with uh, a dry brush and a uh, rubber cleaning sponge, okay. dry cleaning sponge. Okay. 